Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. We are now playing Stone Block 2. It's been a minute since I played some Minecraft. I did play a little bit of this instance, uh, just, you know, just to get back into the habit of it and remembering. This is an old, old mob pack, but it's very stable. It's very good. I remember enjoying it. I never got too far in it. I didn't do a lot of the chickens or the cows. So, just wanted to get into it today and... Do some recording, maybe do another series. Let's see if we can re complete it like we did the last one. All right, here we go. So, create this one, and we're gonna say for the tubers again. All right. And again, you know, it's been a while since I played Minecraft. I've been been playing a lot of New World, and I enjoy it, and I still enjoy it. But you know, just felt like getting back into Minecraft. You know, every now and then you like to flip flip flop back to the new games, old games. So we'll see what this takes us. All right, here we go. So if you didn't know, stone block is a mod where you just spawn and the whole world is stone. There's no ores, no anything else, just stone. And you basically follow a different path in order to get some things going. So this right here spawns a, a pet rock dude. And I've had it before where like, if you give him these, he doesn't like you can give all of it to him and he just doesn't become your pet ever oh but that one gave oh we still got two left over excellent let's go ahead and put these up and i'll put that in there too i think i have my quest yeah so here's the quest you know again i haven't really gotten too far i think the most i've played with this is i mean it was it was way different when i actually played it wasn't like this at all it's never gotten to project e draconic evolution i did do some myth, mystical agriculture never did the cows and of course i did some storage but we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and start it. See how far we get with it. So uh, yeah, you gotta start off. Since there's no trees to punch, gotta punch you some rocks, and you gotta do it barehanded. I've had a mistake before where I did it with a pebble and boom, man, it took forever, and I didn't get anything for my trouble. So that just <laughs> was not fun. But I think the first thing we're gonna work towards is getting that hammer that just actually gets a whole cobblestone. I think it takes. I think four to make one of these and we'll get that quest in a second when I get all these real quick and let's see what we got from the eight why did I get anything I feel like I got gypped I have to look back maybe I did hop up here or something where to go I feel like I didn't get anything I'll look back in the video I'll probably show already I did all right let's go in here so we got these stones random reward a garden cloche or whatever yeah it's, it's not really cloche it's not really gonna help us much ever probably this is 12 cobblestone so here's the deal it's like you can sit here and make cobblestone like this but i wouldn't really recommend it i mean obviously we're gonna get six from this but it may be worth it to just go ahead and make a crafting table right and then we can make a stick from this and we'll work on two more so it takes four so we need eight more so we can get the little hammer that actually picks these up a lot faster. That's what I'm going to do. Lord knows I don't want to take all that time. That's always two every time. Huh? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get two more. Now we can make us one of these guys. And this guy, he gets them a lot faster. See, they just, instead of getting two pebbles, you get a whole freaking cobblestone. Boom. That's good. I enjoy that. I think I'll just go ahead and try to keep this a little bit symmetrical. There we go. See, I got that quest complete. That's a lot faster than <laughs> hitting all these rocks with my hand. All right, let's go back into the quest book. See what we get from here. Sometimes you can get some pretty overpowered stuff to start off with. It's, it's freaking crazy. That's not going to help us too much, so it's, we're not too excited about that. Let's go ahead and pick this up again so we can get credit for this one. Boom. Go back there we go uh ender tank i mean that's that's not bad but it's nothing that's going to help us get through these bottom levels fast so let's make a chest as well you know what let's make this the center of our operation here is what's the center of this room center of this room is like right here so that means that this is the center and it's going to give me ocd issues okay yeah okay better all right so make a chest real quick There we go. Booyah. And we'll just put this bad boy right here for now. And we'll just start throwing our 
rewards in here that we're probably not going to use. We'll throw that in there too. That's all that stuff. Hop out. And the reward. Okay. So, see what we get for this reward. Something good? No. I mean, I actually have no idea what this is. I mean, obviously it says to, you know, clear preference. It says like it's to traverse, like change things into other things, I guess. Consult the knowledge of the world after your personal destiny. Empower the lexicon to first the world to obey your choices. So I found if I hold shift and then like click with it or something. Oh, I thought I did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this does then. Hold shift for details. Converts items to equivalent forms. Right click open to study. Press none to gain wisdom. <laughs> I think that there must be a key binding for that. That we must have cleared at some point. So if we go to options. There's in all these mod packs, man, there's just too many things. And so, you know, you can't really like all the keys is not going to really do anything for you. So if we do, what is this mod pack lexicon? Three hours later. There's no forge lexicon. Ah, we're going to put this over here. Okay. So the next, next quest, dirt. So if you pound... This, it creates co uh, gravel, basically grinds up, and then the gravel makes dirt. Oh. And there is vein mining in this, and I did set that up at least. So hopefully we'll be able to get something done with that. Let's see what we get here. Basic fluke storage. Yeah. It doesn't going to be much help either. I mean, to be honest, it's not like this takes a lot to make, so I doubt very seriously that it does anything, like, super cool. And we're going to do crux. Sure. Whoop. There we go. And there we go. Basic capacitor, also not very useful. Not getting much luck with that. Let's go ahead and let's make this room symmetrical. How about get some of this? We're going to do the crux on the dirt in order to get some seeds for wood. Make it little... There we go. Excellent. Now the room is pretty symmetrical. Okay. So go here. Let's do this cobblestone. Actually, I guess we could just do this dirt quick and just crux it out. I guess we do need one, don't we? Oh, that's not going to help us. Akia is not my favorite type, but I guess it will do. Get this rock out of the way. Hey, buddy, just, just, just go over here outside from the, the middle of the room real quick so the, the tree has enough room to grow. This should be about the middle of the room right here. I'll take this. I'm going to take this. And we go Turk. Turk to make that tree grow. Oh, yeah. All right. So the way that the vine uh, vein mining works in this, you got to have something in your hand. So we'll put the cobblestone in your hand. And I did set up my button. You may have to go into yours to set up your buttons, and boom! That was actually kind of stupid, because I still needed some... a worm or something, right? That's okay, we got Akia Sapling. I'm gonna twerk again for it. Twerk, twerk, twerk to make that tree grow. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Alright, so now we'll use the crux on the leaves. And that should give us more stuff. And yes, we got a worm, so that's cool. And then we'll use the cobblestone to punch the tree down. And we'll put this back, and we will, I think I want to get at least one, this is not a lot anyway, so I think I just, there we go, should have got another worm out of that at least, yeah, we did, because we need one worm, I think, to get the quest complete for the next one anyway, so a little bit of thinking ahead doesn't hurt, we'll twerk a little bit too, and then we'll let this guy munch on some leaves, it'll get spread out and everything while we do that we'll look at what kind of rewards we got for this oh now that's actually going to be useful i mean eventually not right now as of most things are like that it's not useful right now um then we get into tinkering and we can get into silk road so that's what the silk road is for if you look at the silk road here we also need to have a worm in our inventory so that's why we kept that one worm and the other thing is the tinkers construct stuff so not much different there. I think I can use these, yeah. I mean, I know I could, you know. But what else am I going to use all those saplings for, right? 
All right, and then we'll take like half of these and just turn these in here. Actually, I don't think we need that much. No, we don't. Because this is going to be one part of it. There's a stencil table. And we do need to create a crafting table for this one. There's the tool station. And we need a chest for the tool chest. Ooh, <laughs> there we go. And what was the last one? What am I missing here? Nope, not that one. This one. Oh, the part builder. Okay, yeah, that's just a regular block of wood. Okay. Boom. Boom. There we go. And let's see what we get for this. Climbing gloves. We got the bobble. Yeah. Let's put those in there. We can just be like, wee. <laughs> all right. So that looks like it's all done. So we should be able to hit this. And get all those. There we go. And again, vein mine in here. Boom. Very good, very good. Okay. So we are going, we're getting we're getting the brown fix. Hey, do we oh, okay. There's the button. There we go. We're twerk again. I don't think we'll need any more strings than this, honestly. Hmm. I think I'll just hit this wood actually. Oh, you know what I need though? Yeah, I almost forgot. Your boy needs some leaves for later. There we go. Oh. Oh, damn. <laughs> but, but that's cool. It's not like we're going to... Yeah, this be plenty for everything we're going to do. Okay. Ooh, all right. There we go. And we'll just let this back. Okay. Back to it. So, let's put these down. So I can put it in the ground, right? Just have them, like, right here. Put the pattern chest right there underneath it. You can't even see it. A boosh. Uh, and then the tool station. There we go. So... Stencil table can be here. Part builder can't be here. Tool station can be there. There you go. And they're all linked together, so this can, yep, pattern can access it and stencils and yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess we could make one real quick, couldn't we? Got wood and stuff. If we wanted to, we could and we can, so let's do it. And I guess the first thing we'll make is a matic, maybe? I don't know. feel like you always wanted to have a a pickaxe, right? I mean, that's a mainstay. It is Minecraft. I mean, mining some stuff. So let's go with wood handle, right? And I don't know. Let's see what you could do as a binding. I don't think we have anything real. Can you do like a wool binding or? Nah. Because that's really the only thing we have access to. We'll just do, we'll just do, we'll just do a cobblestone binding too. And boom. And then of course we'll do a cobblestone pickaxe set. Oops. There we go. Not very complicated. Let me get that back out of there. And then we will go with the pickaxe. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. How about that? Now we can pickaxe our stuff. Okay, so. Going back into the quest line. Did get that. Excellent. Drop of evil. Now that'll be helpful. I mean, that's cool. I guess we could take that. Eventually when we do our mob farm, which I do want to get started earlier rather than later, that will be very helpful. Okay, so. Now, where are we going to go from here? Oh, a sleeve. Yeah, we'll make a sieve. Okay. I'm sure people who played Minecraft in any of these kind of worlds are very familiar with these kind of things. So, uh, I think we need this one here. What's it like? Like here? No. Hold on. Ah, it's up one with two sticks on the bottom. Okay. There we go. Now we're only going to make one seed, okay? No, it's an unpopular opinion, but I don't think we'll need much more. Let's go ahead. We need this. Oh, yeah. Easily done. Ooh. 
And you can make a whole bunch of these and have them like do them all at different times. But we're going to get into the heavier one sooner rather than later as well. Let's go ahead and put this one over here, I guess. Yeah. Need some light too, man. I know it's got to be dark for you guys. Let's put some light in this place, huh? Uh, for that, we're going to need some coal, right? There we go. And we'll burn some stiff fuel. There we go. And we'll put that there. Yeah. We we'll use the first coal we get, or you know, to burn more. But then we'll use the next coal we get right here to make us some torches, so it gets a little brighter for you guys. Because I know it's got to be crazy. Uh, let's go brightness a little bit here. It goes this. There we go. That should be a little better for people. If I hadn't already edited. Okay, so back to what we were doing. Oh, yeah, we were working on getting through the sieve. Okay, so, yeah, we got that. Ooh, a torch launcher. Dude, I just made some torches. Woo, go be bright everywhere now, boys. Uh, this is really a waste, but, you know, it doesn't matter. You could just refill it with torches anyway, so it's all good. All right, now we're really bright. I love torch launcher. Okay, now, uh, oak crucible. Yeah, we could do that, too. It doesn't have to be oak. What is it again? So, uh, actual wood and then a thing. Okay, cool. So, whoop, whoop, and whoop. And here we go. All right, and we can use that. Hell. And where are those leaves? I think I must put them out. Yes, I did. Do, 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 do. I don't think you need that's 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 for the other thing. You don't even need to have a flame underneath that. I'm crazy. Don't pay attention to me. Now we don't even need that coal for that, but that's cool. Um so we did get the crucible going. Oh now we're gonna okay, yeah. So then we gotta make clay so that we can get the water out of there. Alright, do we yeah, let's sift some stuff. So in order, what did I get a spawn changer? I guess that was like another reward. Okay. In order to get materials, you have to sift. And again, you can pound cobblestone into different things. And you can use vein miner for that too, which I didn't do at first, but I'll show you it now. So we can't sift cobble. But you can hammer it all at once, right? Yeah. And you get this, which you can sift this. But. I will say this as well, right? Like the next thing is to, um, the next thing is to get a flint one, and flint is better. It just it does better with that. So you can vein mine this, and it drops you some flint most of the time. So you can actually get your flint a little easier because if you if you were to go and sift that flint, ooh, what's up with my mouse? Then it actually, give me that back. There we go then you only get a chance to get flint back. And, I mean, it's cool you get other stuff back too, iron and stuff, but in mm, the beginning, you really want to get to your flint, in my opinion, you know, you want to get to your flint, uh, flint one first. So that's going to take six flint, and we have two. But that's okay. I'm just keep mining this, and now we have five. So we need one more flint. And we got ten gravel still. So... There we go. Use the flip. There we go. So now we got six flint. So now what we could do is we could take off. If you shift and click on that, you take it off. And we can use this to build the upgraded one. Boom. Which is cool. It actually does a lot better with this. So eventually we're going to look at getting the heavy sieve. And then I'll just replace this one all together. But for right now, we're going to do this for a little while while that water is gone. Oh, the water is done. Huh. Well. I guess we could use dust to get clay. Mm, yeah. Okay. Just to show you guys. Okay, so that goes to the dirt, and then dirt turns into sand, and then sand turns into dust. And to get clay, you have to put the clay, you have to put this dust in here. Now, generally, I would like to get three iron first, so I don't end up waiting this wasting this water, but honestly, <laughs> obviously, we don't have enough iron for that. 
because it's going to take 12 of those to get one iron bucket. So we're just going to just going to do it and then we'll let this go a little bit more while we sift through here. We could do a clay bucket as well. Mm, yeah, I guess we can. And that will also get the water out. There we go. A water candle. I mean, if we didn't have a drop of evil, that would be a lot more useful. But, I mean, <laughs> drop the evil, you know what I mean? So is it like this? Yeah, and then you gotta, you gotta fire it up. And get some small coal out of this, right? Boop! Yeah, that should be enough coal for us for a minute. And then that'll make some water. We'll, we'll keep sifting this a little bit. Boop. And we should we can go ahead and make another room as well because honestly this is this space is not going to be big enough for all of our endeavors. I mean honestly I'd like to get a hammer. If I'm being honest, well we don't wait. You can crush blocks. Ah, you can make that. Hmm, that's pretty early. You can make that. Okay, okay. So we're gonna obviously need some more cobble for this. Should have thought about this, hey. Make a little pathway this way, and we'll use this right quick. But in the meantime, the in between time, let's go with. We need the hammerhead, and I believe it was a hammerhead binding. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do hammerhead. Boom. Um, this will be that. And then the binding, which will also be this. Okay. And this will help us make that room faster. I mean, it's still slow as all get out because of the fact that it's slow, but this should actually be faster than doing it with a regular pickup. Wait. Wait. Tool rod. Oh, that's not a tool rod. That's the tool rod. There we go. I tricked myself. So is this what I think it is? I mean, I guess it's faster than the pickaxe was, but it's not a three by three. So it must be, I need like the actual tool. Like there's one, a big one, a big hammer that does three by three. Okay. I mean, it's like the same speed, really. <laughs> what I did that for? Like, what's the use of this hammer? Maybe somebody can tell me. Like, stone sledgehammer. Shift for more. Mining level iron, so if I, can I like, no, oh, whatever, we'll just go mine this out a little bit, let that water play out, and we gotta make one more water to get our infinite water block, so this should be done, and here, and we'll just use this, because I've already dipped out there, so might as well, and we'll put some more in there. And I think that that's enough cobblestone for now. Now, do we want to go ahead with the... Nah, we need to save some more stuff before we actually upgrade. So let's, let's do this again. Do some vein mining here. Save some of that because I probably need to redo my hammer here shortly. And we'll just keep doing gravel because it gets iron just as well as sand and everything else. So eventually we'll have to sift uh, dirt, I believe, to get seeds and stuff. Oh man, not having good luck with this, are we? Like seriously? About time, but dang. Man, but you know, honestly, what I need to do is look at also getting some stuff upgraded to towards uh, draconian or whatever like i said i've never gotten that far in this pack it was years and years ago i did this and i never really got that far in this pack i just sort of started doing my own stuff and didn't care what was in the quest but i, I want to sort of have objectives in this one so we'll see what's going to happen here let me get through all this real quick there we go all right so getting hot in here that requires a crucible and that's going to require this portion. So I need eight bone meal. And sieving that, yeah, you need at least flint with dust. 
So that's that's where we're gonna go with this. You can do it with a regular sieve too. But you do need oh, that's a 10% chance, 15% chance, 20% chance if you get an iron one. And we definitely it takes six iron, which would be like that's four iron. So we're almost at the point where we can upgrade, but not yet. Uh, this is not gonna last too long, this one. This chest. I'll tell you that right now. Let's go ahead and bust out these four iron while we wait. And we'll make our infinite water block now. Bloop. Nope. There you go. And now it's infinite. Now we can make all the dust we want. Let's go ahead and dig out this room. How about? All right, about down to this room. Do an old school dire wolf seven by seven, right? Everybody likes seven by seven. It makes logical sense. There we go. Put a torch over here. Torch over here. There. All right. And I've got that climbing glove making me hop all over the place. But I think we'll make this first uh, first room. We did a. Smeltery room. That should be the first thing. But in the meantime, again, we're going to do... Let's actually go ahead and make another one because I'm sure this is going to break soon. And I just want to have one on back up here. Here we go. Before I use all my cobblestone up. Actually, I guess I can start using this one. And I guess we'll do a handful of dust now. Try to get that bone meal that we need for the crucible I'm gonna do all these and boom there we go and we'll just vein mine it boom and these should be easy because you just oh yeah be a lot of dirt. All right. And boom. Yeah, see that it's almost already already broke it down. Just repair it a little bit using its old school one. Um, I think we got another one of these, right? Yeah, we're not gonna use this. Boom. That way we could do the two of these. Get us another hammer. And eventually we're gonna get into making these compressed so that it'll be a faster. We don't have to like put like all these out all over the place. So that's sand, and it said it needed dust in order to have a good chance at and we are also looking to maybe upgrade it to plant but or iron. But I think this should be fine. Okay. Boosh. So we should be able to get I think it's seven bone mill we need. And I'll speed this up for you guys too. I'll try to, when I get one, I'm going to put it in the bar down here. There we go. So we'll keep count and see until we get seven. There we go. So we got seven now. Should be enough, I believe. And then we can also just uh, use this clay. And our bucket. Just to get some more of these. I have one extra. There we go. So now, seven of this, the seven bone mill equals seven porcelain clay. And we got a crucible. And we can just light this crucible. We've got the four iron in there too. Excellent. We need two more iron, really. While that's doing that, we'll just do some more of this, right? Oh, you know what I also need clay for? Uh, what you call it? 
Mm, that's going to require five iron ingot, too. I got enough, I think, though, because we need five. In order to make a bonsai tree, because I want to make bonsai tree. So I have to keep growing trees. Phantom face. Not very useful for our predicament. Put that up there. Put the phantom face up there. I guess we'll put these in there too. And the crushed black ore. Okay. So I think we could call it an episode for this one. I am going to play another one probably before I get to the recording and editing of this. So, But we'll end this one here. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to try to make them a little more, more concise, smaller episodes so that you guys don't have to watch like long hour long videos or if you like if you want long hour long videos let me know maybe i can do both and break them up in between but in any case i hope you guys enjoyed this one and as always have a great day